Greetings, everyone. Hope all of you are having an absolutely fantastic day. We're back again with more Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. This time, got a new patch. You all know the drill. I'll pull out the things that I feel like you're really, really going to want to know about. But there will be a link down below for anyone who wants to go to the site and look at the full patch details. I'd say this is a medium sized patch. I think it's a little larger than the one we reviewed last time, but not quite as big as some of the massive ones that we went through. But there's quite a few things in here that I feel like you all are going to appreciate. So let's dive in. You can now refuse to meet the traveling merchant. Thank you. <laughs> Ah, thank you so much. That menu coming up or, or that pop-up uh, coming onto the screen, pretending that you had the option of whether or not you wanted to see him, but only giving you one option was so annoying. Glad that that's been taken care of. Um, Oracle's lifelink ability continued to work incorrectly in some circumstances. This was fixed now. So I think we brought that up in the last patch, but it appears that now it should definitely be completely cleaned up. Let me know down in the comments if that's not the case, please. Uh, dialogue at Desna's altar in Lost Chapel could become unavailable. Now, I put out a video walking everyone through how to do that Desna altars section and heard from a lot of people that if you messed up the Act 1 quest with Desna's worshipers, you were not able to finish this quest or this, you know, this thing that you could do in the Lost Chapel. I'm wondering if that was a bug and actually not what Alcat intended. And now that's been cleared up. Not sure though. So uh, any of you who might be interested, you might want to give it another whirl. Romantic Brawl with Land now has a time limit. So non-melee classes no longer take forever to end the fight. Thank you so much. I'll leave it at that. Fixed an issue with Demon Mythic Quest where Yaz would only offer teleportation. I've heard many of you complaining about this, so hopefully it should be cleared up now. Arushale's alignment now changes correctly during her quest. So Seo no longer tries to draw during combat. This seems to be happening in a very, very specific place and should be cleared up. Avu, who is the uh, dragon companion you can get on the Azada Mythic Path, Avu's frightful presence could force certain enemies to run off the map, leading to various issues. This has been fixed. You no longer suffer from encumbrance and battle bliss when separated from your party. Fixed an issue in Blackwater where characters could receive a permanent electricity damage debuff. Ooh, the problems with Blackwater just <laughs> keep on getting cleared up. That place sucks. Tactical combat no longer freezes after using mass hideous laughter. What is mass hideous laughter? I thought there was only one version of hideous laughter. And then you could take the mythic option to make it apply to multiple people. I didn't know there was a mass version of hideous laughter. A combination of hideous laughter, best jokes, and zippy magic was so funny that it was able to freeze the game. <laughs> this has been fixed. <laughs> That's awesome. Exploiter Wizard now can correctly merge its spellbook with Lich. There was no notification that spellcasting is forbidden by a condition resulting from Lich's deadly magic debuff, which could be applied to friendly characters. This has now been fixed. Damage reduction worked incorrectly for sneak and precision damage. This has been fixed. Anybody know what they're referring to? Is this going to be a nerf or a buff? <laughs> Path was calculated incorrectly in turn-based mode when moving the cursor between two close standing enemies, one of which could be reached with a five foot step and the other couldn't. This was one of the causes of failing touch spells that has been fixed. I know a lot of you have been complaining about uh, touch spells and I think it's either Magus or Sword Saint in general. So hopefully this helps it work a little bit better. Let me know down in the comments. It wasn't possible to cast Dismiss Spell as a Thessalonian specialist. This has been fixed. 
Not enough materials were available through the course of the game for Storyteller to craft all items. This has been fixed. I didn't have that issue. I got all of Storyteller's notes. I went through his entire story and I got all items. So I'm not sure what they're referring to here, but if some of you had this issue, it's been fixed. Baphomet now remembers he can fly and will no longer fall into pits. Put this here in case some of you were using that as a strategy to deal with him. It will no longer work, or at least according to Alcat, it should no longer work if you're in a fight against him. And then finally, Halaseliax had incorrect stats, causing him to be very weak in final combat. <laughs> I, I definitely experienced this. This dude went down with, in about two hits, and I was like, what? <laughs> Come on, man. Someone of your stature, you you got to be made as tough as stuff than this. So glad they finally gave him his just do it a little bit more respect. <laughs> All right. And that is the full list. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a like down below. Share this content and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next video. Take care.